It is the last 10 days of Ramadan. We all know this is the Laylatul Qadr du'a that we're supposed to be repeating. But I know some of y'all out here struggling to pronounce this. <laughs> and I know that because I struggled pronouncing it when I was younger and I speak Arabic. But this is next level. So we're going to have a little Arabi lesson. Tonight we're learning how to pronounce this properly, okay? If you already know, swipe out. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma. Repeat after me. We're doing this Barney style. <laughs> Allahumma. Innaka. Allahumma innaka. Now this is where it gets difficult. Afuun. Afuun. It starts with a a, not a, not afuun. Afuun. It's a long u and then o. Okay. Afuun. Not afuun. Not afuun. Afuun. I had to mentally separate the word to make sense of how to pronounce it. Afu. Long u. Afu. Un. Afu on. When you put it together, Afu on. <laughs> Allahumma innaka Afu on. Tuhib. Tuhib. Not Tuhib. It's not a ha. It's ha in the throat. Tuhib. Ul Afwa. <laughs> Ul Afwa. So when you put it together, Tuhib Ul Afwa. Tuhib Ul Afwa. Fa'fu. Fa'fu, not fa'fu or fa'fu, fa'fu. There's a sukun on the ayn, so it's fa'fu. But when you say it faster, it does end up sounding more like fa'fu, fa'fu. Fa'fu, anna, anna. It's a ayn, not an alif. It's not anna, it's a anna. Sometimes I do see anni, which means me and anna is us. But altogether, Allahumma. إِنَّكَ عَفُوٌ تُحِبُّ الْعَفْوَ فَعْفُ عَنَّا اللَّهُمَّ إِنَّكَ عَفُوٌ تُحِبُّ الْعَفْوَ فَعْفُ عَنَّا Or فَعْفُ عَنِّي I hope this helped. May Allah pardon us and allow us to all witness Laylatul Qadr. اللَّهُمَّ آمِينَ